In this screencast, I would like to give a short overview of the capabilities of probes in JProfiler. Probes show you higher level information on what's happening in your application. For example, SQL statements that are executed and which of those SQL statements are slow. Here, for example, we have a JDBC demo session that generates some SQL statements and executes them so we can test the JDBC probe. Let's look at the session settings. On the JE and probes tab of the session settings, you can see all the available built-in probes. I just mentioned the JDBC probe, but in the JE arena, there's also a JNDI probe, a JMS probe, and uh, very importantly, a serverless probe. That one shows you all the URLs that are invoked in your web application. Outside of the JE space, there is a socket probe that shows you socket I.O., then files I.O., and there's a process probe that shows you processes that are launched by your application. Each of the built-in probes has a configuration panel that allows you to disable the probe or uh, control data recording. For example, in the case of the servlet probe, you can define request parameters that should be retained uh, for measured URLs. Uh, there's also the possibility to define custom probes as a powerful editor that uh, uh, helps you in doing this, but this is outside the scope of the screencast. In this case, we're just uh, looking at the JDBC probe. So let's uh, close the session settings and launch this JDBC demo application. First thing we do is we go to the JE and probes view and make sure that the JDBC probe is um, activated in the probe selector here. By default, probes don't record data unless you explicitly specify that in the profiling settings. So we have to start recording with this button right next to the probe selector here. Now we see the timeline view of all open JDBC connections. There's nothing going on here because this JDBC demo requires that we click on the start database activity button to start executing SQL statements. Let's do this and Okay, here we see five JDBC connections that have been opened by this JDBC demo. There's heavy activity going on here. There's statement execution, prepared statement execution. And the timeline view shows you what these um, JDBC connections are doing. The connections tab shows you a tabular overview. Uh, here you can see event count and event duration. Events are the bases of um, all recorded probe data. So let's go to the events view to have a quick look at that. Here you see all the single SQL statements. Uh, you can filter events with these controls at the top. In the events view, it's a little bit difficult to find statements that are, are slow uh, because there's a lot of raw data here that is not aggregated. So the hotspots view gives you a much better tool for finding which uh, SQL statements are slow. Here you can open the backtraces for each SQL statement and look at uh, the call stacks that contribute to those hotspots. In addition, probes can publish telemetries, which are similar to the VM telemetry views. Um, here we see this probe publishes three telemetries. One is the number of executed statements per second, which is around 1,000 here. Uh, then we have average statement execution times, which is between three and four milliseconds. And then there is the number of recorded open connection, which as we saw is uh, a constant of five here. Uh, the views you see down here depend on the capabilities of the probe. So some probes don't have control objects like JDBC connections, and they will not have a timeline and a connections view, but just those three views on the right side.